What's up everybody, I'm Logan from sleepopolis.com and today I'll be reviewing the Avocado Green Mattress. I'm going to give you some recommendations, complaints, who I think it would be a good fit for and who should stay away. I'll even compare it to the Sattva and Zen Haven mattresses a little later on in the review. But for right now, let's talk about what the Avocado actually feels like. Now the first thing I like to bring up when talking about the feel of a mattress is the support level or firmness of it. I find that this avocado has like a six out of 10 firmness, so that's maybe just a hair to the softer side of a medium firmness. I should point out that this is the pillow top version of the avocado green mattress, which means it's a little bit thicker on top with the latex layer that they use for a comfort layer. I have tested out the regular avocado and I found it to be a little bit to the firmer side, kind of that seven, seven and a half feel to it. So that's gonna be a little bit stronger support, which is gonna be better for like back and stomach sleepers. With this version, I did feel like I was pretty well supported on my back. You know, there is the same pocketed coil system below. We'll take a look at the materials used later on, but I did want to mention that they have strong support. So if you are a back sleeper, you may feel yourself sink into the comfort layer on top just a little bit, but I did think that it did a good job of aligning my spine, keep my hips from sinking too far into the mattress when I was on my back. You know, when I'm rolling around, changing positions, latex is a pretty bouncy material. So while I did feel like I was sinking in a little bit, I didn't feel stuck in the mattress at all. The coils below also give it some bounce, so you can change positions pretty easily. Now, rolling onto my side is where that thicker latex pillow top really comes in handy because you're able to sink in a bit more before you end up hitting the firm support layer below it. So there's room so you don't feel kind of jammed up at the shoulders. Even saying that, there is good support for the hips, so it's going to help with side sleeping spinal alignment. I do think that the pillow top version of the avocado green mattress is a good choice for the back and sides uh, combo sleepers out there. Now rolling onto my stomach, I did feel my hips sinking into the mattress, which is something these stomach sleepers out there really want to be uh, well aware of. If your hips are sinking in while you're on your stomach, it's putting your spine out of alignment. You're going to wake up with aches and pains in your lower back. If you are a stomach sleeper that's looking at the avocado mattress, I would definitely say look at the kind of regular version or the one without the pillow top. So you're going to uh, have your spine in better alignment. I've cut open the back of the avocado to give you a better look at the materials used in the layers of it to give you a better understanding of where that feel comes from. But first, I want to talk about the cover, which is an organic cotton cover. It's got a very cozy feel to it. It's pretty breathable, so that's going to help it sleep a little bit cooler. Now below that, we have the pillow top section of the mattress, which is made of Dunlop latex. Now Dunlop latex is known for uh, you know being a natural material. Latex foams are known for a few things. One is that they're very bouncy. You can see that really quick response to pressure. So while this has kind of a medium soft feel to it, you're going to sink into it just a little bit. You are going to be able to change positions, roll around. You're not going to have to fight your way out of that material at all. Now another thing that latex is known for is being good at dissipating body heat. So that means uh, if you're worried about body heat trap, you overheat during the middle of the night, latex might be the answer for you because is going to help to draw heat away from the sleeper, help you sleep a bit cooler. I should also mention that it is an aerated layer, so there are some holes in the top here, which is going to help with breathability, again, helping you sleep a bit cooler. Now below that, we transition into another layer of uh, Dunlop latex. Now, if you don't get the uh, pillow top version of the mattress, this is basically going to be your comfort layer, so it's going to be a bit firmer because you're not going to have as much room to sink into the mattress. But again, the same properties. It's bouncy, sleeps cool. So you have a lot of Dunlop latex on here if you get the pillow top version. Now below that, it transitions into the support center of the mattress, which are pocketed coils. Now pocketed coils give you a kind of springy bounce and support you might be expecting out of a traditional inner spring mattress. But something to note is that they are individually wrapped, which means they move a little bit more independently. So it's going to give you um, a little bit more kind of contouring support around your body. Also, it's going to help kind of damp down a little bit on the motion transfer that you might be expecting to see with like kind of like intertwined uh, steel coils. Something that's really great about a tall pocketed coil section like this is that it creates a lot of airspace in the mattress, which creates airflow. Again, good for breathability, help you sleep a bit cooler. Um, overall, I would say with the latex and pocketed coils, you get good support, really bouncy mattress that's going to be great for combo sleepers. Now, instead of just taking my word for it on what the avocado feels like, I also run a few tests on every mattress that I review to give you a more objective look. Now, the first one I run is the pressure map test, which means I put a pressure map down on top of it. I lie on it in a few positions, and you're going to see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. Now, starting out on my back on the avocado, we can see that it's pretty much blue across the board, and that's pretty much what I see with every mattress that I test. You really just have to run it to make sure that there's nothing that sticks out about the avocado. 
it doesn't, so we're gonna move on. What we see here on the side is really the more interesting outcome for a lot of the mattresses. If it's a really firm mattress, you can expect the pressure to jump up into the yellow or red range, and that's gonna be a red flag for the side sleepers. We do see some raised pressure here on the avocado green into that uh, kind of green or lighter green range. But again, like I said, if you're a back side combo sleeper, I think you're gonna find that the pillow top version of the avocado is a good choice. I think you're gonna be comfy here on your side. If you are a really, really strict side sleeper that needs that super plush feel that's sinking deep into the mattress, I just think it's gonna be a little bit too firm for you. Uh, maybe something along the lines of a memory foam mattress might be in, more in line for you here. But if you're a combo sleeper that rolls around onto your side for por portions of the night, this is gonna be a comfy feel. Now rolling onto my stomach, again, with my weight evenly distributed, you see it's pretty much blue across the board, but you know I don't always think that the pressure map shows the whole story for stomach sleepers. I did feel my hips sinking in slightly when I was on my stomach, so if you're a really strict stomach sleeper looking at the avocado mattress, I'd probably say do not go for the pillow top, just go for the regular avocado version, which is a bit firmer. Now, some of the other testing that I do on mattresses includes a motion transfer test. And basically, I take a 10-pound steel ball and drop it from heights of 4, 8, and 12 inches to simulate some kind of getting into and out of bed or rolling around in the middle of the night. And then on the other side of the mattress where you might be sleeping, I put a seismometer down to track the disturbance that's transferred with each of those drops, basically trying to see if you sleep with a restless partner or if you're going to be disturbed with the motion as they're rolling around or getting up and out uh, of bed during the middle of the night. And I got to say, there is a bit of motion transfer here on the avocado mattress it is kind of a nature of the materials used you know latex is a really bouncy material and the pocketed coils make this a really bouncy mattress and with bouncy mattresses you are just going to get more disturbance transferred across the bed than you will with a really thick memory foam layer on it so you know i would say with the lower levels you know someone just adjusting their position it's probably okay but if you do sleep with someone who rolls around quite a bit on the other side of the bed you probably will feel it as they adjust their position throughout the night uh, you know so that might be a little bit of a negative for the uh, couples out there but I would say that there is really strong edge support so you are gonna be able to sleep all the way to the end of the bed on the avocado without worrying about collapsing the side rolling out of bed in the middle of the night or anything like that uh, but like I said so another test is the bounce test so again you're basically checking to see if you're going to be able to change positions without feeling stuck in the mattress and like I said there's really a lot of bounce here on the avocado it's because it's the latex hybrid so a latex material and pocketed coils, you're not going to feel stuck in the mattress at all. You're gonna be able to change positions on the avocado really easily. Now, if you're checking out reviews of the avocado, I'm assuming it's not the only mattress you're looking into. So I wanna talk about some of the avocado's biggest competitors. First up is the Sattva mattress, which is a traditional inner spring mattress that you can buy online. Like the avocado, it uses an organic cotton cover. There are some slight differences in the materials used though. There is a coil on coil structure, so you get steel coils under a uh, pocketed coil system. So it makes it a really bouncy, traditional inner spring feel to it. You know, there are three different firmness levels of the Sattva. The medium firmness version is probably most in line with the regular avocado, which gives it like a seven out of 10 firmness. I really recommend it to the back sleepers out there. Now in terms of price, I would say that it comes between $599 and $1,499 if you're paying full price. But if you use the Sleepopolis discount code, you can get $75 off your purchase. Next up is the Zen Haven, which is a latex mattress also made by Sattva. Now it has an organic cotton cover like the avocado, like the Sattva mattress, but it is made from an all tallow latex core. Now the interesting thing about the Zen Haven is that it's flippable. So on one side, you have more of a medium feel that I like for kind of backside combo sleepers. And on the other side is a firmer support that's gonna be better for uh, stomach sleepers or strict back sleepers. Now I think it does a really good job of being a bouncy mattress to allow you to change positions. And also because latex Latex is a good material at dissipating body heat. I found that it sleeps pretty cool. Now in terms of price, it ranges from $1,299 up to $2,499. But again, if you use the Sleepopolis link on our review page, you can save $75 at checkout. Now, before I end the review, I wanna give you some pros and cons about the avocado mattress, basically reasons I would recommend it to you to buy and reasons I would say you should stay away. 
First up, reasons I like the Avocado mattress. I think it does a really good job of using natural organic materials. You know, the organic cotton cover, the natural latex, and they even have a vegan version of this mattress available where they don't use wool. So if that's something you're interested in, you should definitely check out the Avocado Green mattress company. I would also say specifically with the pillow top version, I like it for back and side combo sleepers. It's got that medium to medium soft feel to it. So you're gonna be able to sink in just a little bit for some pressure relief, but you're gonna be able to change positions without feeling stuck in the mattress. If you're more of a strict back sleeper or strict stomach sleeper, you should probably just check out the regular avocado mattress, which has a firmer feel of support to it. And I also really like the mattress because it's very durable. You know, it's got the nice organic cotton cover. Latex is a really durable material that's gonna last a bit longer than other types of foam out there. They've got a really strong warranty on this mattress. Now, some of the reasons I would say uh, it's not for you, some of my complaints about the avocado mattress is that it does have high motion transfer. So if you do sleep, with a bit of a restless partner, someone who gets into and out of bed a lot during the middle of the night, you probably are gonna feel it on the other side of the bed. And I also think that if you're looking for uh, some high, some contouring around your body, you're someone that really likes that feeling of sinking into the mattress, that hug around your body, uh, latex is probably just not the material for you. You're probably looking for something more along the lines of a memory foam feel. Now, after all of that, if you are interested in purchasing an avocado green mattress, I wanna give you a little bit of basic info. First up, there is a 100 night trial period, so you can have it in your home for just over three months, deciding whether you wanna keep it or send it back. There is a 25 year warranty, which is a really strong warranty in the bend the box uh, mattress market. You'll wanna check out exactly what that covers on their website, but I would say latex is a durable material. This mattress is built to last. It's one of the strengths of the avocado mattress. Now, it will ship for free and it will arrive compressed in a box, but I got say it is a heavy mattress so if you are going to uh, unbox it I would recommend having some help doing it so you can get it in place and now in terms of price the standard version ranges from $949 up to $1,699 for the king size version. If you're going to buy the pillow top version that I looked at today, it will add $240 up to $500 for the king size version. But if you are going to buy the avocado mattress, definitely use it by clicking, use the uh, link in the description below to get the exclusive Sleepopolis discount. So that's it for my review of the Avocado Mattress. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if your mattress search continues, you can Google Sleepopolis and Best Mattress to see our listing of top mattresses of 2019. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss any of our sleep news or giveaway announcements. And check out sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.